Hello and welcome to this short example on how to use PlaceKey.io for joining data that is already part of your organization or your project. So in this little example, I was preparing two different data sets. One is originating from the Costco web page, showing some data regarding the owner or the manager of a shop and the opening of the shop itself. It also contains a latitude and a longitude value that was scraped from the web page. The other data set might come from a different source. Of course, it will show different data. Let's assume here this data set from uh, Missouri that is showing some data in Concord. Oh. The different way is that the data is stated in St. Louis. One way of joining data is, of course, using a common attribute that is shared by the both the two different uh, data sets to make a join by attribute. But as you can see, we do have an FID here. Uh, we also have some similar attributes like the state or the um, country, of course, and then the address field. But some of the attributes are not quite the same. Let's have a look here on the city. So we have Concord in one position and St. Louis in another. So let's zoom in and find out where this location is. It is over there, so let's really zoom in in a different way. And you might already see that the Cusco CSV uh, layer or position is down here. So even joining by the nearest neighbor might be a good way of dealing with this issue at this current data set. But let's imagine you have a shopping street and you have a lot of shops close to each other. And then you have two different data sets describing one is the... Um, position of the entrance and the other one is the postal address and both uh, situations are, will place of course different points on your map so even joining by the nearest location using the built-in functionality of QGIS might be a tough one for your data set especially if we are dealing or talking about 40,000 points or even 40 million points. Therefore, placekey.io offers you the w a way to add a place key to a location. And the place key not only reflects the location by an H3 hexagon, but it also describes the what part on it. So what POI is there in this where part, the H3 hexagon. So for every point, we will get a place key on currently on the US and Netherlands. So let's have a look on this plugin, um, which more or less only communicates with the placekey.io API. So what you will need, of course, is a placekey.io API key. But first of all, let's install the plugin. I'm opening up the plugin manager. Let's have a look for the placekey plugin. It's not there because it's not installed, of course. So let's go here, placekey. There's a place key connector currently in the version of 0.91. Um, it is a pre-release, so if you would like to use it for yourself, um, make sure that you will also report some issues if you find some. I've created it or I've installed it right now. So it's offering here a place key um, processing toolbox, which brings you into the position that you can create models in place in QGIS and at the place key algorithm to those models. So if you have already created a workflow um, by, for joining data, you can implement place key here quite easily. And then there's a second option, that, which is the place key doc widget. It, um, as mentioned, it works currently only in the US and uh, the Netherlands. So let's have a look how this works. I'm just typing in Costco and select the location on the map. Oh, well, we do have a problem. There's no API key found. So add one using manage place key API keys. And so this is the processing step here. It's quite easy. So just um, get yourself the place key. I'm already here. So get an API key. I'm signing in. The API key is just a long string. Place it there. Hit run. And now it's added to your system. Let's have a look whether this turns out to be true. 
Well, it is hidden here in the advanced section, so I will be careful. I promise, of course, I'll promise. And let's have a look here. Place key. The API key is now stored in your system settings. What we will do now, of course, first of all, we will close the dialog. There's some strange uh, error recurring from the grass plugin. Um, what we will do now is we will try it once again. So let's open up the Cusco and um, click here. Well, this is the API key or the place key that was um, delivered by the uh, place key API. So how does this turns out to be somehow of use for our workflows? So let's have a look here on the Cusco Geo package and I do have a CSV file. So we will simply use add place key for the Cusco CSV. We will select a shop city name. There it is, address field street. Let's go there, region name. Do we have a region? Yes, yeah, state, and that's it for the moment. So due to the fact that I have a city and a state, I don't need the postal code anymore. And the ISO country code is defaulting to the yes, US at the moment, due to the fact that we are only um, supporting US and Netherlands. If you do have a country field, just add it here as well. So what we will do now, simply press run. It will um, uh, strip your data to blocks of pair of 100 items, send it to the API and receive the results. So let's close this. Let's have a look here on the place key and open up the attribute table and there are the place keys. Um, as you can see, we do have some items where we don't have um, a very good identifier for the what part, but that's it for the moment. What we will now do, we will create another layer um, but first, let's rename the old resource here to layer with place keys from the CSV. Let's have a look again on the attribute table. Yes, that's right. And now let's create the place key layer for the other input, which is the geo package. First of all, we do have a store name, of course, again. We do have a city name an address field and let's only use the zip code just press on run no not at the country code of course but as the postal code there we are press run there it is already so let's have a look at the attribute tables once more layer with the attributes from the csv there we are and layer with place keys from the geo package Let's move it up here just to make sure to compare it to each other and they're more or less the same for every layer uh, for every feature if we have a look for our uh, Costco shop here in St. Louis let's compare the place keys for this as well so we are here in Concord or St. Louis you don't really know but the place key is the same so what we can do what we can do now is of course to join the data together by custom field which is in our case the place key on the one hand and we will join it with the layer with place keys from the CSV with the place key attribute there and we might be interested in different fields to copy from this data set of course we are interested in the manager and the opening times select an OK We will not take a join prefix. Created layer should be a joined one. Now what we will have, we have join count four, unjoinable count zero, which is the thing we would like to achieve. So let's have a look here on the attribute table, not on the editing. And there we are. So we have now both information or both attributes or both layers combined to each other uh, by using the common place key for every location that is part of the data sets. That's it for the moment. Of course, as you would might be interested, just um, download the plugin from the plugins repository or visit github.com and search for place key there. It is hosted on GitHub, which is also mentioned in the place key uh, description or in the in the plugin description there's an issue tracker so if you come along um, any um, difficulties or you have a cool announcement or you would like to 
drop a line just for commenting just go there and you will have the opportunity to raise an issue on the issue tracker thank you very much for watching take care and goodbye